Hey everybody, it's your Facts First narrator, and uh, this script here in front of me talks about math and how we can make it easier. Uh-huh. I, I hate math, so uh, let's see. Math is considered challenging, but it doesn't have to be. These 10 simple hacks will make math easier. Easily convert Celsius to Fahrenheit, or vice versa. Working on a chemistry project, working with a foreign recipe, or using a foreign recipe, or for anyone in the U.S. who may at some point find themselves having to use the metric system, to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit, multiply the temperature by 1.8 and then add 30. To convert degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius, subtract 30 from the number and then divide by 1.8. Remember pi. The secret to remembering the first eight numbers of the sequence for pi is this classic mnemonic device. Use the phrase, may I have a large container of coffee, to remember the numbers by counting the numbers in each word. May, which has three letters, I has one letter, have has four letters, and so on. Add and subtract fractions with little conversion necessary. This is called the butterfly method. Take two fractions with different denominators or the numbers below the line and multiply those denominators together and multiply each number from the number at the opposite corner. So multiply the first numerator by the second denominator and vice versa. Then add or subtract, based on what you need, the new numerators. As an example, let's say you need to add three-fourths plus two-thirds. Multiply four and three for the denominator to create twelve. Then multiply three by three for your first numerator, and two by four for your second numerator, equaling nine-twelfths plus eight-twelfths, totaling one and five-twelfths. Converting your hourly wage to an annual salary, or vice versa. To convert your hourly wage to an annual salary, assuming you work full-time, multiply your hourly wage by two and add three zeros to the end. So if you make $7 an hour, multiply that by two and then add three zeros to get $14,000 a year. Of course, this doesn't include factors such as if you work part-time, earn overtime, or other pay increases based on your schedule. To convert an annual salary to hourly, you subtract the three zeros and then divide the number by two. So if you earn a salary of $50,000 a year, you would retract the three zeros down to 50 and then divide that by two to equal $25 an hour. Multiplying by 11. 11 seems like a tricky number to multiply, but it's very simple. To multiply two digit numbers by 11, add the two digits together and then place the sum between them. To multiply 22 by 11, you would add 2 plus 2 and then insert the sum between the 2 and 2, creating 242, 2, 242. 23 would be 253, 24 would be 264, etc. If the sum is greater than 10, carry the 1 to the first number, so 19 by 11 would equal 209. Japanese Multiplication this works best with four colored pencils, markers, crayons, chalk, or whatever you want to use. You'll draw four sets of lines, one for each digit, and each pair of sets will form one number. Starting from the left, draw the number of lines for the first digit, and then, on the opposite side, do the same thing for the second digit. Then draw two sets of lines in the opposite direction for the second number. Then draw two lines between the left corner and middle and right corner and middle. Count the number of intersections of the lines to get your new number and remember to carry the one. Multiples of 9 This is actually crazy simple. Imagine the number 9 as 09 for the purpose of this math hack. As you increase multiples of 9, the first digit will count up from 0 and the second digit will count down from 9. This works all the way until 9 times 10. Multiplying numbers that are under but near 100. Take the two numbers you're multiplying, for example, 97 and 96. Subtract each from 100, giving you 3 and 4. Multiply 3 times 4 and you have 12. Write that down and put it to the side. Add 3 and 4, giving you 7, then subtract that from 100, giving you 93. This answer gives you 9,312. Check with your calculator if you don't believe it. 
Subtracting the sum of the difference of the first two numbers from 100 gives you the first two digits of your number, and the product of the difference of the first two numbers gives you the second two digits. Easy way to find percentages of large numbers If you need to quickly figure out a percentage of a large number, here's a simple trick to figure it out. Drop the last digit from the larger number and then multiply that number by the first digit of the percentage. As an example, if you need to find 40% of 300, you would multiply 4 by 30, equaling 120. Square any two-digit numbers Let's take a two-digit number like 43. Square each digit, 4 and 3, and then add their squares in respective order. 1,609 Next, multiply the two digits by each other. 4 times 3 would be 12. Then multiply that number by 2 and add a 0. This gives us 240. Then add the two numbers together. 1,609 plus 240 would be 1,849. This gives us the square of any two-digit number. Subscribe for more! And okay, there you go. Uh, I don't know about you, but uh, nah, I, I'm still lost. Man, I hate math.